Now let us look at the next problem. A thin semicircular ring of radius r has a positive charge q distributed uniformly over it. The net field E at the center O is. We have to find out electric field E here and charge Q is uniformly spread across the length of the semicircular ring. Okay. Now what is the perimeter or the total length of the semicircular ring? It is pi r and total charge is Q. So lambda which is linear charge density will be given by Q by pi r. Okay. Now let us say we take a small element of length dl having charge dq making an angle alpha from positive x axis okay and let us say this dl length makes a small angle d alpha over here okay now we know that dl will be given by arc length into radius Okay, sorry, the angle into the radius, angle is d alpha and arc length will be given by r d alpha. Now, charge dq will be equal to lambda dl or we can write it as q upon pi r into dl which is r d alpha which can be further written into as q by pi into d alpha. Okay, this is one thing. Now second, if you take an element which is mirror to the y axis making same angle alpha having same charge dq having length dl then the electric field due to this charge dq and this charge dq will be somewhere like this below the x axis. Okay, And this de and this de would be same now if you take the component along the x-axis they would cancel out but the component along the y-axis or the negative y-axis would add up. So while calculating the electric field we need to only consider this element okay the component of the electric field in the y direction. If this is alpha this will also be alpha and if this is alpha then this will become de sin alpha now we need to only integrate this electric field with proper limits the total electric field at the center will be addition of all the electric field along the y direction okay and that is equal to integral of de sin alpha now what is DE? DE is you have a charge DQ over here at a distance R the electric field would be equal to K DQ upon R square. Now if you substitute the values DE is K DQ is Q by pi D alpha upon r square into sin alpha and the limits of angle alpha will be 0 to pi okay for this charge the angle is 0 and for this elementary charge the angle is pi okay now you take the constants common k q upon pi r square it comes out and we have integral of sin alpha d alpha with limit 0 to pi and if we solve this this term comes out to be 2 so the answer is 2 k q upon pi r square and we also know that this electric field would be acting in the negative y direction so in terms of the vector it will be minus g cap okay so this is the electric field at the center